So thank you very much. And no better segue than the last statement that was made. Let's do this together and invest in this together. And there's no way, no better way to do this than to put your company on the exchange, because then everybody can invest and everybody can drive the change and the development forward. And that's really what we're seeing. We're seeing more and more an appetite amongst institutional and retail investors to invest not in something that only generates returns, but also generates change. And that's fundamentally what we're seeing driven now with all the investments that are being taken place in the cleantech sector on our exchanges. So my name is Adam Kostial. I head up the listings for the Nordics and Europe. Uh, that addresses seven exchanges that we own and operate in the Nordics, Stockholm, Copenhagen, Helsinki, uh, we have a growth market called First North and a main market called uh, Nasdaq Stockholm, Nasdaq Helsinki, Nasdaq Copenhagen. But then we're also spending a lot of time with European companies going to the US, either through an IPO or now through a SPAC. So don't hesitate to reach out if you want to discuss either or. But I do want to put it in the context of why am I here to talk about the Nordics. The Nordics represents roughly a third of all the IPOs that have taken place in the last few years in Europe. It's an astonishing market. In particular, the Stockholm market is punching above its weight. 80% of the population owns shares. It's fundamentally an equity market. And we're seeing a great appetite amongst institutional and retail investors to participate in these IPOs. So last year, we listed 80 companies uh, in the Nordic markets, 90% of these in Stockholm. Uh, this year only we've listed 120. So, and we got half a year left. So from that perspective, it's a fantastic market to see, not only from an IPO perspective, but also on a secondary basis, how companies come back to the public markets to raise capital to support their growth. But not only looking for capital, looking for the equity, looking for the visibility, a diversification of not only raising capital to support their further growth. So that's a key message to you, is that the key differentiator of being a listed company, of course it comes with responsibility, but it gives you so much more than just capital. What is driving this? Fundamental shift in the investor institutional market. More and more ESG investors. The Nordics is a leader in that space and where they're pioneering that. You have pension funds, that have billions and billions of US dollars allocating $10 million for a smaller clean tech investment. That is a fundamental difference. Here in Germany, that will not happen. And that's a fundamental change. So you're getting institutional money that's willing to drive innovation that's coming from smaller growth companies that are choosing to list. Now, First North, 2012, roughly 80 companies. Today, roughly 400 companies. Keep in mind, 100, of the, 100 companies have transitioned onto the main market. So they use the First North to grow into the bigger platform. You have something called scale here in Germany. That's like First North is our equivalent. So far this year, we have listed close to 90 companies on Nasdaq First North only. I think the comparable number here in Germany is around 10. key message here is not only the IPO, it's what you do the next day when you deliver the first quarter and you go back to the market and raise more capital. So the secondary capital is just as important as the IPO. The IPO is the beginning of the journey of leveraging the capital platform that the exchange is. Clean tech sector for us is fundamental. This is what the investors are looking for. We have 40 plus, this is all numbers, companies now listed on our marketplace. Last year, one of the largest two, this year, sorry, two of the largest capital raises were clean tech companies. This last slide, sorry, I'm breezing through this, really showed you uh, how the international investor base is now looking at the Stockholm market because there is so much activity going on and there's, they're one of the key opportunities for them to invest in the public markets is to be participant in the Nordic markets. This just goes to show, this is risk capital. It's about how the exchange plays a fundamental role in being a partner in the ecosystem to provide support, uh, risk capital for growth companies. This is not about established companies that have you know, already, you know, this is not ABB, this is not et cetera. These are growth companies driving innovation, looking for risk capital. 
U.S., equally important. The, the appearance of the SPAC clearly has driven the market in one direction. IPO markets is extremely active. The SPAC is become a key asset for this sector, and you've seen it. And we're in talks with many German companies, many European companies now, evaluating the opportunity to combine with a U.S. SPAC or potentially even a European SPAC. We work with a lot of the European companies going to the U.S. They start their journey here, either private, do their IPO in the U.S., or potentially start with a smaller market here in the Nordics or in the Europe, and then do a, do a listing or secondary listing in the U.S. So again, many discussions ongoing. This year so far, we've listed roughly 30 European companies, either through SPACs, primary IPOs, secondary IPOs. So Jan is here. The message is basically, Evaluate exchange as an alternative. It does, might not exist in your local market, but it exists in Stockholm, and we're definitely keen on encouraging non-Nordic companies to explore this. We're in talks with many. It's a journey, and we hope that we see you further going ahead. And there are many Nordic companies here today that will present, and they're potentially going to list with us going further. Thanks again.